Hello my friend. A little something different today. I mean, this is a comedy channel first, health channel second, but I like technology. Things like this excite me. I'm actually using a camera right now to film this video. Bet you didn't know that. So I just want to talk a bit about the big announcement from Nikon, which should have everybody excited who makes YouTube videos because I do think right now this will be the best YouTube camera on earth. Hands up, hands down. Just cue the intro already. Welcome back. So I'm filming on the Canon G7X. It's an amazing little camera. It does pretty much everything you would ever need a camera to do if you're making vlog style videos or just talking like I am now in a well lit room. So I'll tell you why I love it and then I'll tell you why this new Nikon is gonna blow it out of the sock drawer. That happens. So when you're filming yourself talking like I am right now, one of the most beneficial things about a camera is that flip around screen. It's so helpful to be able to see yourself and frame yourself accordingly. When I do the Casey and Kent show, I need that screen. If I'm gonna fall down or something, or I gotta walk along a certain path, I gotta know if I'm in frame or not. And some of the best video cameras on earth right now do not even have this simple feature and I wanna shoot people in the face. The Sony a7S Mark II, best video camera probably out right now, does not have the flip around screen. So if you don't have a flip around screen, check next, fuck you. The G7X also has a touch screen. A lot of people don't like it. What the fuck is wrong with you? Let me tell you why I love it. The only thing I use it for is to set focus. You press record, you tap on the screen. I tap on the back of my chair and then I tap on the manual focus button and then it sets focus on the chair and stays there for the whole video. Another thing I need in a video camera is the ability to manually control the aperture and shutter speed, mainly just to adjust for different lighting scenarios, but there's other purposes like using really fast shutter speed if you wanna be moving around and have smooth motion. Okay, I know people are already getting pissed off. They came here to see that Nikon camera and I haven't even talked about it yet. So let me tell you why this thing is gonna be better than the G7X, better than the Sony RX100 Mark IV, the best compact camera for videos right now. So it's basically like a G7X. It has most of the same stats and it has all the same features that I just talked about. But let me tell you why I would purchase the Nikon any day over this. Number one, the slow motion features. Canon G7X does not have a slow motion feature. You can use slow motion no matter what kind of video you do. You throw in a little slow motion clip. Who doesn't like slow motion? Initially, I wanted a really good camera that also had slow motion, but it just did not exist. And then I bought this one. A week later, the Sony RX100 comes out. It has slow motion. I wanted to punch Sony in the dick. So this new Nikon does 1080p at 120 frames per second. That's probably gonna look pretty sweet on the one inch sensor. You won't need as bright light as you need for some of the smaller sensor cameras in slow motion. So you can film indoor slow motion, things like your cat, and it's not gonna be super grainy. And the Nikon also does 400 frames per second in lower resolution and 1200 frames per second, which will probably look like absolute shit, but it could be fun. Next obvious feature is 4K. To me personally, I do not care. I shoot 720p on the Canon now. I don't need you looking at every pore in my face. If I get a zit, that's my business. Plus, my computer can't even play 4K video files. There's, I can't do anything with them. But this new Nikon does 4K video, so it's kind of future proof. And if I wanted to upgrade my computer one day, I'll have 4K video in a handheld camera. That's pretty amazing. Next feature is the time lapse. It's just a fun little feature to have. You film the sky, watch clouds go by, it's really cool. G7X can do it, but it only takes a picture every 15 seconds. And so it's not very smooth. You can't really do it with people walking. They just skip across the screen in two pictures and it's, 
it sucks. So the Nikon will have a proper time-lapse function. And last feature, the super macro mode. You can do close-up shots. This is why it's beneficial to me and people concerned with their health. I'll probably do a video about this one day, but iridology is the study of the iris. And if you take a picture really close of your eye and blow it up, you can see all these black lines. So like a clock, each section from 12 to one will indicate a certain organ. Just as an example, five to 6 p.m. is your kidneys and adrenal area. And when you see a big black spot there, you know you have kidney and adrenal weakness that you gotta work on. So it's an amazing tool just to be able to look at your eye and see what's going on in your body. And to have a good camera that can get up close like that. The G7X is okay, it does up to five centimeters but this new Nikon will get up to three centimeters and it has a one-to-one -one ratio, which you can just blow up and see so much detail in the eye. So I love that macro feature. The last thing I wanna talk about, the Nikon did come out with three versions of this camera basically for different focal lengths. And I just wanna explain why you should get the 24 to 85. It's well known that from 75 millimeters to 100 millimeters is the most attractive you can get a face to look. Go watch my how to make yourself better looking video and you'll see why I always zoom into that range because it just looks like how I look in real life. If it, the camera was like right here, I would look like a fucking gargoyle with my nose stretched out. It just looks retarded. So the 24 to 85 is going to be more beneficial for this style of video, but there's also a wide angle one, which is 18 to 50, which might be more beneficial if you are holding at arm's length, it will just capture more of the area around you, similar to like a GoPro does. And the last one is more of a super zoom. It's not going to fit in your pocket, but it is the only one with a mic jack. So think of that if you want to plug in a microphone. So that's it. I just, I got excited about this announcement. I wanted to make a little video about it and also reach into camera users. If you're watching this and you care about your health, think about going on a vegan diet because you can overcome almost any disease on a vegan diet. I overcame ulcerative colitis. So many people I've talked to have overcome their illnesses just by giving up meat, dairy, and eggs. You're saving the planet. You're doing the right thing for the animals and it's the best diet for your health. So I wanted to sneak into the camera market and brainwash you all with that little message. Watch some of my other videos. I try to keep them funny. So that's it. That, we're done here. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you hate kittens. And that's it. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.